Once you open Chrono Studio, you can select one of the eight sound design categories, let's say ambiences, for example, and then you can pick a preset. Let's go with forest. This starts generating a sound which you can perform. Say that you want more of the birds or more of the wind, for example, or maybe you want more of the stream sound. Once you're happy with it, you can press stop and this becomes available as a file that you can drag and drop on your timeline. You saw how easy it is, so let's now use Kuro Studio to design an actual scene. The scene is set in a building, so what we need is some sort of subtle room tone. Uh, let's go to ambiences and let's pick the apartment preset, which has a great subtle room tone that we can use. I don't want any of the people next door, actually. Some of the exterior, as there are some windows. And I want to lower the level of the hum and the air. Something like this should work. I'll let it run for a little bit so you have enough length. And then I can stop it and I can drag and drop it on the scene. Next, let's design some footsteps. Let's see where they happen. There are one, two over here, and then she's going up the stairs over there. So I need about five different footsteps. Let's go to footsteps and let's pick some boots. And I want a clean surface. So I'll perform a couple of steps, something like that. And this should work for the very beginning. Let's see. Yeah, that worked perfectly, actually. And then one, two, three, something like that. And let's perform some more. Let's try them. Fantastic, they work perfectly. I'm gonna go on the Foley category and then I'm gonna pick the Bessie Cloth preset. And here I can choose the material that she's wearing. Let's put it right in between jacket and leather. Sounds pretty cool. So I need a pretty fast movement for the arm raise. Something like that. And let's see how it works. Pretty cool. And then I need one, two, and three over here. I have some markers there, so I'm going to perform one. It's a bit longer. Let's see? Yep. And then another one. Let's see? And then I want something slightly longer because she's doing a longer wave this was a bit loud maybe let's try it again let's try this one yeah it's perfect so let's go into weapon and let's pick the nine mils pistol and the pistol preset is cool because you can decide the proximity to your gunshot. So from very up close to farther away. And you can even reload your gun, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to bring the pitch down a little bit and I'm going to increase the power. So we get a very big cinematic gunshot. And I want something like this. Sounds pretty good. Let's see how it looks. Nice. Now, since we are going for a very big cinematic sound, I also want to layer an explosion. Explosion presets works exactly in the same way. Pretty nice. And you can decide the amount of debris. So I'm going to bring the debris all the way down and I'm gonna bring the pitch down as well. And I want this sort of very dry, low sound that I want to layer to my gunshot. Let's take it over here. Now, that's a gunshot. Well, this is starting to sound pretty awesome. Uh, how about we add a big cinematic sound for my logo reveal? Let's do that. Let's go for a giant hit and let's perform something like this. Very nice, a nice big tail. And I want to sync it over here. So this is where the tagline is happening. So I can drag and drop it, and then I can do something like this. Very cool. 
As a final touch, I think that a little whoosh that works as a, a leading sound uh, just before this big cinematic hit at the end could work very, very well. So let's go into whooshes. And I'm going to pick the design there preset, which has a duration knob, so they can do something like this. That's pretty nice. And I'm going to just visually match it to where my heat is happening. I want to make it a little lower in volume. Let's see how it works. Last but not least, as a nice final touch, I think there's some dark abstract ambiences that contribute to create some tension could work very well. Let's design some of those. I'm going for the cinematic category again. Let's pick eerie scene and let's play with this a little bit. <laughs> Sounds so good. Let's drag and drop it. And I'm ready to listen to my completed scene.